what's up guys welcome back to another vlog and today we're finally putting on the new exhaust I've got it in the box right here so let's get this thing on a stand and let's get started Alright guys, so this is pretty much everything that comes in the kit besides my tools here. You've got the silencer, which I'm not going to be using, which is why I left it packed up. You've got your mid pipe or connector pipe, which goes in the bottom there. I'm going to put that on after I take off the old exhaust, that way I can line it up and I know that it's going to fit properly. And we've got the new exhaust clamp, two springs, and the exhaust... Uh, holder I guess you can call it exhaust clamp or exhaust holder this is what holds it to the side of the bike there and really nice Yoshimura actually includes a spring puller so you can get these springs on there nice and yeah as far as I can tell all you need is a 6 mil allen key and a 12 mil socket to take this apart and put it back together so let's get to it so our first bolt is right here. That's our 12 mil. Now you don't need to undo this all the way because as long as it's loose and it's moving, it'll let the pipe slide out. And the reason I'm doing that one first is because once you undo this guy, there's nothing really holding the pipe in place. So you wanna make sure that it's ready to go and you can grab it and take it off. Now, I did just record the stock sound portion of the video that you're gonna see at the end. So it is a little warm, but it's not too warm, so I think we can go for it right away. Here's the Allen key here, it's a six mil. Okay, I got it. And like I said, she just slides right off. Pull up and twist a bit. And that's it. There's your stock exhaust, all in one piece. And yeah, it takes about 30 seconds to take off. All you really gotta do is take off that first bolt, take off the hanger, and you got yourself an exhaust. Now that I have them both laid out here, it's easier for me to position this pipe. And they left me a nice little treat there. I guess the guy from uh, Quality Control, this is how he tells you that it's good, leaves you a little smiley face in there. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Can you guys see it? Hopefully you guys can see it. But yeah, so now this is how I line it up. Make sure that you're on the same angle, more or less. I have to put the camera down for a second there, but nice and tight now it's not going anywhere so let's go get this thing in place first thing you want to do is slip the exhaust hanger on so that once you get it on there you can actually just throw the little nut and bolt in there you're gonna use the stock nut and bolt and yeah get it nice and lined up and then we're gonna throw the springs on so a tip for you guys when you're putting it on you can see here the exhaust hangers I mean the spring hangers actually line up and that gives you the right angle. So if you line those up properly, then you get the nice angle and you don't have to really play around with it too much. So 
So after you stick that rubber in there properly, you want to start getting everything back on. lined up before you tighten anything now you want to leave the nut on the inside so that it's accessible but it's not visible now you want to do your hanger And the last thing is to put on the springs. And there you have it. I'll admit the old one looks good, but the new one does clean up the look a lot. guys well now I got to clean all this crap up and then I'm gonna go take this thing for a spin so I can show you guys the comparison of the sound before and after and you guys can tell me what you think let me know in the comments if you guys like the new exhaust sound if you guys like how it looks and one more thing I'm gonna mention is wipe it down before you do go out the first time and start it just so that all your fingerprints don't cook on to them uh, all the fingerprint oils and all that crap don't cook on to the actual pipe and you don't have a nice looking pipe anymore because it's brand new so keep it clean So, as always guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed today's video, 
If you did, please leave me a like, drop me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come. Next thing we're doing is the frame sliders. So if you guys want to see how that's going to come, come for the next one. Until then, ride safe out there, guys. Peace.